We've become accustomed to hearing how the Jewish Agency for Israel has rescued Jews from areas of distress and brought them to safety here in Israel. But when we hear that the Jewish Agency has rescued a young American Jew from Daytona Beach, Florida, that's another story altogether. It's the story of John Daly. Because of the bullying he'd had from black people, he got so he didn't like them, and all of a sudden he finds these people to be a part of that's got his back. He was tired of being picked on, and I can't say as I blame him. On one hand, I'm terrified that they're gonna find out I'm Jewish, but I've actually found safety in the embrace of Nazism as a Jew. He's trying to hide the fact that he's a Jew, getting more and more involved in serious, racist, skinhead meetings. And he just sort of like shrugged his shoulders, like, oh well. I didn't find out John was Jewish, I think, until I tried to put him in the ground. And somebody shouted out, die, Jew boy, die. And at that point I knew, there's no coming back. And apparently the doctors told my parents, get ready to say goodbye to your son. He's most likely not gonna survive. Six years after they were sent to jail, if I remember correctly, two of the people who attacked you were released. Did things change for you then? They had made it clear that when they got out that uh, they were going to finish the job. I contacted the Jewish agency and I said, I need to move to Israel now. They were a Jewish family in trouble. This was a Jewish kid in trouble. We were not asking a lot of questions. The thing I'm looking forward to the most when I go to Prague is to spend time with somebody who was a friend of mine 20 years ago under entirely different circumstances. The last time I remember sitting and standing and talking with Kevin face to face, both of us had guns in our hands. <laughs>